everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing another video for people that have sent me things in the last few months. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I actually have three people that have sent me things uh, recently and I wanted to give them a great big shout out. So thank you guys for sending me things. I'm always excited to hear from you. Anything like this is really encouraging so it's very very cool. But first off I have this Amazon card. I got this from Megan. And she goes by Kingdom Girl. Kingdom spelled correctly. Um, girl is an abbreviation GRL. Um, thank you so very much. She goes, Hi Samara, enjoy your gift. I love your vids. Keep doing what you're doing. You are awesome. Smiley face. So this is from her. Thank you so very much for sending this to me. I actually it was a $30 gift card to Amazon. This helped me so very much to buy some things for my cosplays that I did recently. So thank you very much for sending this to me, Megan. It was very, very sweet and I did use it for a very, very important matter. So thank you so much for sending this to me. Great big shout out to you for doing that. That was like an amazing gift. So thank you very much for that. Also, um, I got some things from a Afrain. Afrain is a friend of mine. He sends me things every so often. He's a really awesome Mooney and really awesome friend. So thank you Afrain as always for sending me things. It's really, really sweet. But I wanted to share some of the things he's been sending me. Um, he recently went to Japan not too long ago and he got me some things there. And he also went to Anime Matsuri recently and he got me some things from Anime Matsuri. So. I just wanted to kind of share with you some of the things he got because I thought it was really cool and you guys might be interested in it. But he had a pretty lengthy visit at um, in Japan and he sent me this little note says Sailor Samara on it with tuxedo mask. Really really cute little note there. And he also sent me this little thing as well. It says Dear Samara enjoy your package in the name of the moon. Sincerely, your Mooney friend from Orlando, Florida, a frame. And it was a really cool little <laughs> message he sent me there. And he even drew me some pictures on the back, which I thought was really cute, of my two cats, Sailor Anna and Sailor Elsa. This is really, really cute. Really like these little sketches that he drew on there. And it says, P.S. Sorry, didn't have time to make you a whole new drawing. I'll make sure to send you one in your future fan mail. And a really cute little uh, drawing doodle of, of mermaid down there. So very, very cute. Thank you, Efrain, for that. But this is some of the things he sent. And he actually sent me two of these. This was the stamp rally that they had in Japan for a Sailor Moon contest. And inside it has different locations in Japan. I think they were all subway station uh, areas and that you'd go and stamp each one of the areas inside and we'll take a look at that. But here is the the front of it. It's really really cool. And inside it has all the stamp locations on it. Let me give you a good close-up picture of that. And each one of them is a different uh, couple of guardians anyways. We got uh, Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon over here. And Mercury and Mars, Jupiter and Venus, uh, Uranus and Neptune, and Pluto and Saturn. And then of course the subway station map is down here in the center. So it's really really cool. I can't read any of it but I assume this is all the names of the stations here at the top. And then of course the names of the guardians down there. So it's a really nice looking pamphlet. And this, I guess this part of it was just kind of for your own collection purposes. Over here, you were to stamp this and then you can mail it in to get your prize. So it's quite cool. and. It's, it was, I guess it's for the Sailor Moon store, I guess. But the present was this uh, clock here. One of the main uh, prizes. And then there was the tea set, um, 
a DVD for the two musicals this past, and I'm not quite sure what this is right there. <laughs> but it's some kind of little tin thing. But it was a cute little pamphlet, and I saw these going around, and I really wanted one, so he was really nice about sending me this. The inside of it has some ads for the last musical, um, the classic concert, the GU store, and the Sailor Moon Drops game at the bottom. So really, really cool little pamphlet there. And he actually sent me two of them. I think this one's the one that didn't he didn't stamp. No, this one was stamped too. If I had one, well, they're both stamped. <laughs> but yeah, they're really, really cool. And on the back there is a this is the ad for the fan art booklet. Or the um art book that's supposed to be coming out here. So a lot of people are speculating that um this should be coming out soon, but I've not heard any new information about that. So I don't know how soon this will be coming out, but this is supposed to be volume one of the new art book series that's supposed to come out. And this was announced uh, during the 25th anniversary event that they had in Japan, but they just had another um, event for Sailor Moon's birthday party recently. And they didn't mention anything about the fan art, fan art booklet, so I'm not sure what's going on with that, but it, uh, supposedly it is coming, because there's like, this was the first initial little picture that came out for it, so hopefully we hear something new soon. But that was that, and then he sent me some other little pamphlets. There's this one. I'm not quite sure what this one's for. So it's a little pamphlet to a store in Japan. And that's their Facebook and Twitter information there. So it says uh, Bendai on it. I want to say it's a fashion outlet or something. From the images it kind of looks like it would um, sell some uh, Bendai licensed uh, fashion items or makeup, I guess. And here's a little ad for the last Sailor Moon musical. This is for the DVD release of it. That's really cool. And there's the past ones on the back. And the classic concert that came out. And then he sent me... Now this is kind of cool. This was an ad for Swan. This was another musical production. And this is of course the actress that plays Tuxedo Mask in the last series of musicals. She's actually in this musical here called Swan, so it's really, really cool. And there she is on the back, she's playing one of the two leads. There's all the other cast members. So this would definitely be cool to see. I'm not quite sure what this one's about, but it looks really cool. And I guess it came out last year, so it's 2017 on it. And here's another little awesome picture of her. So this one was really cool. I was really excited about getting this. I'm not quite sure what this is for, if it's a meet and greet or some kind of event she had, but yeah, that's, that's her there. And she looks really, really cool. It's a really cool uh, picture of her. I'd like to get this framed, <laughs> that with the swan image. So that's really cool. And this was another musical this is for Prince Tennis. So if you never heard of Prince T Tennis, it's a, uh, it's a manga anime. Um, they have different musicals, not just Sailor Moon over in Japan. They have lots of them. Uh, this one's just uh, another little ad for that particular musical. And there's the cast on the back. And this is the locations of which the musical took place. And there's the giant fold out image of all the cast members, all the characters and stuff. So yeah, if you're a Prince Tennis fan, definitely try to look up information about the musical apparently because it looks really cool. <laughs> but yeah, I like all the different musicals that they have out. I'd love to be able to see more of them, but it's really impossible unless you go to Japan and actually see them. So this one here is a little Metro card that he sent me. 
of the metro stations in Japan. A little map of it. Here's the schedules on the back. So that was really interesting. If I have a large structure of metro stations over there, of course. And uh, we have some here, of course, in New York and Washington, D.C. and areas like that. But nothing like Japan. Like, Japan's all about it. <laughs> it's like, I don't think any of ours here in the United States are quite as extensive as the one in Japan. But he also sent me these little pamphlets. Um, this is for Tokyo Disney Sea. So this is the two locations in Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Disney Sea, and then just Tokyo Disneyland. This is their map. So if you've never been to Tokyo Disneyland, it's really, really cool. Um, seeing some videos from there. So this is the map for Tokyo Disneyland. It's really, really cool. A little bit of a glare there, but that's that one. And this one's Tokyo Disney Sea. And I think this one's really amazing looking between the two of them because there's nothing else like it at, at uh, around the world. It's very unique. A lot of really cool attractions there. And a lot of them are obviously based around water and stuff, but they have like a little Arabian section, a mermaid section, and a dock type section. They even have, have an America waterfront section, which is kind of cool. So yeah. So thank you, Efrain, for sending me these little maps. I enjoyed looking at them. They're really interesting. And I've always liked to go there, so maybe this will help me <laughs> in the future if I ever get to go. And I think the last thing that he sent, other than the fact that he did um, help me get the musical pamphlet, which I have, I do plan to share some information about that in a future video, but since I bought that, I decided to just kind of put that in a different video. But he did give me one of the button pins from the last musical. This is, of course, the Sailor Mercury one, actress that plays her. It's a really cool pin. They had one for every single cast member that was in it for the main cast. It's really cool to have one of them. That really, really pretty. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I'll find an area for it eventually. But yeah, it was a little blind bag. You didn't know which one you were going to get until you opened it. And some of them were actually autographed, which was kind of cool. So yeah, definitely a nice little thing. So the last a couple of things that he sent me from when he went to Anime Matsuri, or these, and he sent me another one of these little note things, which was really cool. But he got me a couple of the little ad cards or ad papers for the Pretty Guardian membership, the fan, uh, fan club membership. It's really cool, you get a new card, you get a communicator watch this time, and the special benefits is this Sailor Princess notebook thing at the bottom. It's like a stationary set. But I really wanted the uh, bracelet. I thought the bracelet was pretty. A lot of people say this is a really expensive membership. It's like $66 as they have up here. Which it is and there's not a whole lot of benefits to being an international fan club member. Um, you can participate in getting tickets and stuff occasionally but you have to go to Japan to go to those events that the tickets are for. That's the only problem. So there's not a whole lot. We don't get a huge benefit. And it's we pay the same price as anybody from Japan that gets to enjoy all the other stuff. So it's kind of a 50-50 thing. I can see why a lot of people aren't really into it. I, as long as the bonuses, I guess, are still rather good, I'll, I'll keep being a member, I guess. But yeah, it's, it's very, it's a very controversial fan club for sure. And on the back here is some more details about the membership. Like things that you can uh, benefit from from being a member. Which to me really isn't a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> it's not anything to really write home about. It's basically those initial first things that you get each year is basically the main part. If you want to pay 66 for these items then go for it. 
which to me, I still want them, so I'll still sign up, but but yeah, I wish there was a little bit more to it than just this. But yeah, he sent me two of those, which is really cool. I do like all the little ads and promotional things and stuff. And the last thing he sent me was this, and I think I'm just going to leave it in the plastic because I want to keep it protected for the most part. But they did have a pop-up Sailor Moon store, which was like a little addition to Anime Matsuri that kind of looked like the Sailor Moon store that's in Japan, which was really cool. I'm not a huge fan of the Sailor Moon store merchandise. A lot of it is kind of limited and not really that interesting, personally. I'm not really into getting like keychains, acrylic things, you know, really expensive, like jewelry and stuff that comes out in Japan. I'm not really into all that. So I saw some of the things that he was uh, sharing with me and I decided not to really get anything, but he decided to at least get me this clear file, which is really cool. It's very vibrant kind of 80s like image too, which I thought was really cool. And it does say the Sailor Moon store here at the bottom. And it's got a Harajuku, Japan, Tokyo type thing in the background, as you can see with Sailor Moon in the foreground. So I thought it was kind of cool. And on the back, it has Sailor Moon store in the back. And this is kind of stuff that really goes with Sailor Moon because this is things that she likes, you know, girly things, candies, you know, cupcakes. That kind of thing. So it really goes with her overall vibe <laughs> and things that she's into as a teenager. So it's really cool. And on the bottom here has the Sailor Moon store logo, 25th anniversary, and the Toei sticker is down there. So this was really cool. Thanks so much, Refrain, for the, for the things that you sent. Um, this is something that I would probably frame eventually because it's a really cool image. So I definitely plan on doing that at some point. But very very cool. I like the 80s style vibe of this. It definitely goes well with Sailor Moon. So, And lastly I do have a box from Julia. And Julia sends me stuff every so often. She's really really nice. She's become a really cool friend of mine and I enjoy talking with her and stuff. And we've been talking back and forth through the mail for a while and occasionally we'll send each other little things and she told me to go ahead and open this particular item on camera. So I'm going to do that today. The box got a little roughed up on the way here, <laughs> but that's our lovely mail system, unfortunately. So here is, oh, here's the first bag. Put this over here. So this is one of the bags she sent me. Oh, it's a Smeagol bag. And Smeagol is a uh, store in Australia and from what I remember her saying, I think it was like um, little trinkets and charms and like sell stationery and stuff like that. I think is what she told me before, but um, she sent me some things from Smiggle before, which is really, really cool. Okay, so here's one of the first things she sent. This is cute. It's a little like drinking cup for Frozen. So we have Anna and Elsa there. Really, really cool. On the side it says sister sisterly love is what it says. So that's really cool. And there's the straw. And at the bottom there's all kinds of little glitter and snowflakes and things like that in there. Little plastic snowflakes. Yeah, that's really cute. And it's kind of cool to see like cups with snow globes in them. That's something that they didn't have back in the day. So the next item is one of these. This is really cute. It's a little perler bead uh, crisis brooch for Sailor Moon. And I think that she made this one. But yes, yeah, it's, it's on a little um, ribbon. There's a little ribbon. And it's got glitter in it and stuff too. I've never made anything with perler beads, but it's really cool when I see some, some other people make them. It's really pretty. But yeah, that's really pretty. I like that you add glitter to it too. <laughs> it's very sparkly and glittery. That's pretty. Huh. And the next thing is, oh, this is cute. <laughs> it's a little puppy dog plush. So yeah, this is really cute. He looks vintage too, and I like little vintage plushes. I have quite a few of them actually. 
Yeah, he's a little puppy. He's got little blue eyes and everything. That's so sweet. So yeah, this little puppy. I think I'm gonna call him Franklin. Franklin the, the puppy. So I'll put Franklin down. Oh my gosh, I think she made this one too. This is a little Pegasus. And he's made out of felt and he's got a little uh, bell at the bottom there. And a little pin clasp on the back so you can wear him. Yeah, that's adorable. That's so cute! I haven't made anything like this in a long time, so it's really cool to see something like this. It's very, very, very cute. So yeah, I like that. And he's got a little bow and everything. That's so cute, I'll have to wear him out! He's so cute! Alright, so the next thing I have is... Oh, this is a little sm a smiggle ball. It's a little bouncy ball. That's really cute. I like the the characters. I like characters with little faces and stuff like that. I think it's really cute. They're all happy. And the, ooh, the next thing I got is this. Jeez. And look at the size of this one. This is a lanyard. And I, I've actually gotten a few of the GE lanyards before. So this is the actual band for the lanyard. See if I can get that to focus. There we go. So there's the the ribbon band of the lanyard, the main part of it. And it's different colors. So it's got Sailor Moon on there, but it's mainly a bunch of different colors. And then it has the little clasp to unlock it. And then this part is the uh, little card thing that you put your ID, ID and stuff through. But look at the size of it. This is like the biggest one I've seen on a lanyard before. This is quite impressive. <laughs> it's got a really awesome image of Sailor Moon on there. And then this one's by Licensing Essentials. So this is a different branding company than GE that makes some for us over here. But GE sells their stuff all over. But this is the first time I've heard of Licensing Essentials. So I'll have to look them up and see if they have any other cool Sailor Moon stuff. But yeah, very, very cool. This is a giant lanyard. <laughs> I mean, this is the biggest one I've ever seen for the um, ID badge part. So that's really cool. And I like how vibrant the picture is on it. Very, very pretty. And the last thing in here is a little bunny. Yeah, and it, and he is scented. The last one she sent me um, is scented as well. I think that one was like a little blue koala. So this one's a little bunny. And she's got like a little character in her hair. And she's got a really cute face and a little tutu dress on. This is sparkly ears. So yeah, it's really, really cute. And there's the Smeagol logo on the back there showing where she's from. So yeah, it's really adorable. And she does have the Smell Me I'm Scented tag on there like the other one did. So yeah, so I guess um, Smeagol has a Australia, UK, um, Malaysia, and Hong Kong branch. So I guess if you live in any of those countries, you probably have one of these stores in it as well. We don't have one here in the US, so it's the first ones I've ever seen is the ones that uh, Julia sent me, so very, very cute little stuff the, the store has for sure. So that was that one, and the last bit of stuff is in here. Now she does send me little notes too, but she told me to keep these private, but I like to share at least the stationery, so I mean look at these are really cute, <laughs> these little girls, and there's like a little unicorn sticker. So very, very cute. I like, I, we don't have stuff like this over here too often. Like there are stores that sell stationery, but nothing kind of Japan-like that I've, I've ever seen. I, I'd have to go to a Japan-specific store, maybe out in the Washington DC area or the a New York or California area or something to find stores like that. But that's really, really cute. 
So this bag here is actually Sailor Moon themed. So that's cool. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I have a lot of little bags, but most of them are like paper bags, but this one's actually a plastic vintage bag from Sailor Moon S. So that's really cool. And there's some more of the characters on the back of the bag there. So that's really cool. Never, uh, I think, I've, well, I think I've seen this bag before, but I've, I've never owned one. So. so let's see what she's got inside. Also, this is one of her business cards. And she actually laminated it with like glitter and stuff, kind of like a snow gl globe effect. So that's really interesting. So there's her little card. So you'll have to go follow her, guys, and give her a shout out. Very cool little card here. It's got glitter inside, as you can see. So very, very cool. I like that. It's very unique. I've never seen that on a business card before. She's got a lot of really cool ideas that I would never think about. So yeah, it's really cool. So here's some things that she sent to. Oh, these are Disney babies. <laughs> these are really cute. I've never Sunstar. Okay, this is this is Japanese um, stationery. It's a little notepad, and it's got Donald Duck, Daisy, Mickey, and Minnie on there as, as little babies. So that's adorable. And there's the back, and the pages inside. Some of them are different. So here's one of them. One of the little pages inside there and very very pretty and then you have this one has kind of got <laughs> it's a donald one it's so cute like look at him there that's adorable so yeah he's really cute donald duck is my favorite uh, character from the main cast disney characters i think he's really really cute and he's really close to my personality i think like surprisingly enough but yeah <laughs> he's always getting into things that normal people probably don't get into and it really upsets him so <laughs> it's like I, I really relate to him a lot but these are some I think these are some little oh these are this is her art so this is uh, Julia's art she goes by Mil Milky Tales obviously but this is some of her art she actually sent me some on some laminated cards so this is Elsa and Olaf, and then we have one of Sailor Moon, like Eternal Sailor Moon. So like my two favorite things ever. <laughs> so that's really cool, and this one here is just, just gorgeous. I really, really like the way this one looked. I saw her post it on Tumblr, and I really liked it. It's got that soft pastel-like colors to it. And the lines aren't heavy or anything. They're really light and, and everything's really vibrant and everything. It's really pretty. So yeah, these are really nice, Julia. I definitely will frame these for sure. Very, very cute. Thank you very much for sending those. So my camera went to sleep there for a second for some reason. So camera issues. But um, like I was saying, we have two sticker sheets and this one of course is Hello Kitty. And Hello Kitty is a really well-known international character. And I really love Hello Kitty. These are kind of like glittery prismatic stickers too. It's really pretty. And then we have one of Beauty and the Beast. And there's two different kinds of stickers in here. There's the front. And then we have some here on the back. And these are kind of glittery as well. And Beauty and the Beast is definitely my favorite of all the Disney animated movies. It's one of the first, I think the first one I ever saw in theaters. And I really like uh, Belle. She's probably my favorite Disney princess. I have a lot of Frozen stuff, but I have a lot of other Disney stuff as well. So, but yeah, Beauty and the Beast is an awesome, awesome movie. And lastly, we have another stationary. Um, notepad and this is for the Care Bears and I can't remember all the Care Bears names but I watched it as a little kid. I know there's Tender Heart Bear and Good Luck Bear and um, 
I can't remember these two. <laughs> I'd have to look that up. But yeah, it's uh, the Care Bears there, and there's the back of it. And it looks like there's going to be at least four different pictures in here. So here's this one. It says Friends. It's really pretty. And then Daisy Days. So there's that one. And these are all really nice to send little notes to your friends and on and stuff. I had a few of them um, from a while ago. I still have some of those though. Love me lots. Don't know some of the names of these bears. Can't remember. And then we have this one. It says best friends. And that's actually probably my favorite one in here. It's got the four different bears that's on. No. Oh. No, these are different bears. You got good luck on there. But the other three are not on the cover. <laughs> but very, very cute. Definitely love stationery and stuff like that. And she's always sending me stationery because I'm always telling her that I don't have any stationery, which is the absolute truth. <laughs> I can't find them um, anywhere except for like Target and stuff like that. And they're nothing really cute. Like, you can't get like characters and stuff like this here. Like, it's more adult type of stationery. So it's not really very cutesy. So I do enjoy getting the stationery she sends me so that I can have things to write her back with. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for checking out my video today and thanks so much to Megan, Efrain, and Julia for sending me things. I'm always excited to see what you guys send. Um, so if you do want to send me things, you don't have to of course, but if you do plan to, my address is in the description of my videos. I also have it up on my Facebook page for you guys to see easily. But yeah, that is pretty much this this video and I appreciate you guys staying for the duration of it. It's probably a really long video, but I do appreciate it. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye.